So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to tell you about something that you can do to get your body fat to secrete a molecule, and that molecule will positively affect your heart. It's a roundabout way to improve heart health, and it's a fascinating new mechanism discovered in this study, discussing an incredibly intuitive sounding molecule called 1213-dihome. And my name is KL34 Apartment Z. Honestly, the naming is getting a bit ridiculous. So if we look at the amount of this molecule, 1213-dihome, in young and old individuals, you'll notice that the amount is reduced in the older folks, anyone over the age of 65. And considering heart function diminishes with age, it might be reasonable to see if both decreasing might be tied to one another. Psst. Spoiler alert. They are. To be clear, there's more experiments that I'm skipping over, but ultimately the relationship was realized. Older individuals have worse heart function and that tracks with reduced blood levels of this molecule 1213-dihome. Still, there's plenty of things that increase and decrease with worsening heart function. For example, insulin resistance, uh, weight, back pain, dad joke frequency. So how do we pin 1213-dihome directly to this heart function? Well, how about we just inject some into our veins? Well, that's what was done, but don't worry, it won't be what we'll need to do. So when old mice are treated with 1213-dihome, we see improvements in something called systolic and diastolic function. Essentially, it's the ability for your heart to contract and relax to pump blood. If these improve, your heart function is generally better. In the graph, the 1213-dihome is on the right, and if the bars go up, that's interpreted as an improvement in heart function in this context. We'll return to this because there's an important piece of information that we need to cover. But for the time being, we're seeing aged hearts function better when exposed to 1213-dihome. So the point here is that we've eliminated all other factors. 1213-dihome directly improves the function of an aging heart. Now, the next questions are how and how can we use this to our advantage without sticking ourselves with a needle. So I did mention that this hinges on your body fat, not your heart. And that's because 1213-dihome is a lipokine, meaning that it's a molecule produced and released by your fat cells primarily. Essentially, your fat cells convert a fat molecule called linoleic acid, an omega-6 unsaturated fat, into 1213-dihome. And once created, it's secreted into the bloodstream. From there, it interacts with a series of cells in your body, including cardiac or heart cells, and protects them from problems that arise from aging. Things like what's known as the endoplasmic reticulum stress, which can cause cells to malfunction. In the heart, this is not a good thing, obviously. Although, I suppose that could also be said of anywhere in the body. Overall, the takeaway here is that 1213-dihome improves the function of the aging heart by reducing stress within the heart cells, among other mechanisms. Okay, then, what do we do to stimulate 1213-dihome in our body? Well, there are a few things that we can do, actually. One way is to increase your brown fat activity, which is a type of fat tissue that is quite metabolically active, meaning that it produces hormones like lipokines that we've been discussing and uses more energy. In fact, many of the experiments in this paper that we've been going over look at brown fat specifically and confirm all the effects that we've been going over on 1213-dihome. We can increase the levels of this beneficial brown fat in our body by doing things like cold exposure. And with cold exposure, there are studies that indicate increased 12 to 13-dihome in humans as well. Interestingly, this study suggests 1213-dihome also stimulates brown fat itself, meaning it might be produced elsewhere as well, like muscle. So cold exposure, like ice baths, and even more mild exposures stimulate brown fat in 1213-dihome. If you're looking for a step-by-step -step protocol, I have one outlined in my protocols page, along with more on exactly how 1213-dihome affects our heart, and an alternative method of raising 1213-dihome through nutrition, which I detail in the extended version of this video that you're currently watching. The protocol and the extended analysis plus accompanying article are included for the Physionic Insiders if you're interested. The link to join is in the description. Plus, you get all these perks right here, which is just more incentive if you needed it. Either way, the link is in the description. I hope to speak with you over there. Another way of raising 1213-dihome is through exercise. In fact, it doesn't take much, as little as 40 minutes of endurance training at about 70% uh, of your heart rate reserve is sufficient to almost double 1213-dihome. 
We also know that exercise as a whole promotes many heart benefits. 1213 Die Home promotion may fit right into the many different ways that exercise benefits our heart health, even as we age. The takeaway here being that if you exercise, not even overly intensely, or if you undergo regular cold exposure, you are raising your 1213 Diahome blood levels. Of course, considering the origin of 1213 Diahome from omega-6 fats, it seems reasonable to just consume more of these fats, the linoleic acids. However, there is currently no good evidence this actually works. So we can't say with any certainty that's true. We'll see if that changes in the future. But I also did mention that we'd be returning to these data because while we focused on the right side, the 1213 Diahome, we're comparing against 910 Diahome, another lovely name. The researchers use 910 because it's similar to 1213 Diahome, but doesn't have any positive effects. As far as I could tell, they didn't go into much detail beyond that, and yet the literature on 910 Diahome is mixed, with some of it showing negative effects while others find positive effects and relationships. What I'm trying to say here is that I don't think that 910 Diahome is an ideal comparison condition. They probably should have added another control condition. That critique stated there's still other evidence that 1213 Diahome is still beneficial to the aging heart, even if these data are weaker. In addition, single injection of 1213 Diahome didn't seem to do much to blood levels. And one reason for that is because 1213 Diahome stays in the blood for a very short period of time. So a single bout of exercise or doing cold therapy every once in a while probably ain't going to cut it. You'll need to stick to it to reap longer term exposure for your cells. Finally, a last point that I'd like to bring up is that we're looking at aging mice hearts. And we did see improvements with 1213 Diahome, but these results have not been investigated in humans for obvious reasons, unless you're the kind of person to let scientists crack open your chest when needed. Props to you, but that isn't my cup of tea. We do know some of this translates to humans, and both ways of raising 1213 Diahome are also generally linked to improved health as a whole, but it seems likely that these results would translate, but I still wanted to point that out. The main point here is that your fat cells produce a fatty molecule called 1213 Diahome, which interacts with your heart cells and improves your heart function, especially as you get older, when heart function declines. We can stimulate 1213 Diahome by stimulating brown fat through cold exposure or even relatively moderate exercise intensity and duration. And speaking of reversing heart aging, there are other ways of improving your heart function, like those I describe in this video right here. Thanks for hanging out. I'll speak with you over there.